For the first time, I bought a comic collection on Facebook Marketplace from someone in the neighborhood around uh, 20 minutes from where I live. This was the picture they listed and the title of the listing was plus 350 comics, various titles. And it was a listing for 400 euros. Looking at the picture, I said, okay, four short boxes, maybe not all full. I do see Hulk, Avengers, Deadpool, Amazing Spider-Man, Captain America. So yeah, mainstream titles. I did see they were from around 2015, so not too recent. Um, and they look in a decent shape. So I asked to visit and see for myself in what shape they were and what was in the collection before I spent 400 euros on it. Because they, in the description, they explicitly mentioned buy all or nothing, no cherry picking. So it was 400 bucks for everything or just don't come, don't bother. I bought it. I came home, sorted and catalogued everything and I was amazed of what was in there. And you'll be too. So let's go over it together right now. Let's first start with a couple of Amazing Spider-Mans. The Amazing Spider-Man Volume 2 Issue 700.1 from 2014. Of course, also Volume 2, 700.2, the Pascal Ferry cover. Then we also have Issue 700.3, also a Pascal Ferry cover. Really nice. Issue 700.4. Also from 2014, also really nice cover. Then we've got 700.5, also like this cover, really nice. The Amazing Spider-Man Volume 3 from 2014, written by Dan Slott, primarily, and art from Umberto Ramos, a fantastic duo in which starts the Spider-Verse event. Um, I have the complete volume 3, starting with the first five-part mini-series Learning to Crawl, which acts as the origin of Spider-Man, Peter Parker, and then the uh, 20 issues of volume number 3. So, after the 1.5 Learning to Crawl, we go in the real Amazing Spider-Man volume. First issue with a uh, first cameo appearance of Cindy Moon, Silk, and the first appearance of Clash. Issue number two, Spider-Man fighting Electro on the cover. The second cameo appearance of Cindy Moon in this uh, issue. Then the third, Black Cat on the cover, and a third cameo appearance of Cindy Moon in this issue. Issue number four is part of the original Sin tie-in. It goes a bit back of the, to the origins. Then issue five, Amazing Spider-Man, also part of the original Sin tie-in. Then issue number six. Issue 7, Spidey and Miss Marvel on the cover, and also Spider UK. This contains the first mention of Earth 833 and the first full appearance of Spider UK. Then, issue 8, Spidey looks a bit worn out and broken. Issue number 9, there we go, the start of the Spider Verse, second appearance of Spider Gwen, and first cameo appearance of Solace, and also the first appearance of Web Slinger, the cow. Issue 10, Superior Spider Man on the cover by Olivier Coipel, first appearance of Spider Punk, issue 11, first full appearance of Solace, the father of Morlan and the Inheritors. Issue 12, the whole inheritors, uh, inheritors family on the cover, and the first appearance of Leopardon. And we've got issue 13, a couple of Spideys, Spidey totems on the cover. Nice cover. 
in issue 14, Battle Royale on this cover. Uh, the third cameo appearance of Webslinger. Issue 15, this is the epilogue of the Spider-Verse. Uh, the first appearance of Spider-Woman, May Parker, in this issue. Issue 16. The Spider-Verse is over, uh, so we go back to what was happening at Parker Industries. Back to the main story. It's a bit of a spidey sense on the cover. Issue 16.1, which is the beginning of the uh, spiral tie-in. And the next uh, couple of issues. And issue 17.0, still part of the spiral tie in. And 18. Nice party on the cover. It's back. All those muscles. Issue 19. Fourth installment of the spiral tie-in, and the final, um, the conclusion of Volume Three of the Amazing Spider-Man is the final episode also of the spiral tie-in. Tie Next, we have a Spider-Verse tie-in, Spider-Verse team-up, issues one to three. This is issue one. We've got issue two with Miles Morales and also Spider-Gwen on the cover. And issue three of this tie-in. Team up. Really nice. Then we have the Spider-Verse with the first appearance of Lady Spire. And issue two, showcasing almost every Spider version existing at that time. Then we have Edge of the Spider-Verse Volume 1 complete, all five issues introducing background on some key characters from the event, starting with Spider-Man Noir. And to my big surprise, yes, yes, it was still in this collection, issue 2 Gwen Stacy Spider-Woman first appearance worth about 400 euros on eBay. And then we've got Aaron Eichmann, the Spider-Man, on the cover. Then I walked with a spider, a little uh, background story. And then we've got the first appearance of Spider and Penny Parker in this issue. And then we've got a three issue tie in with the Spider-Verse Scarlet Spiders. Issue one, The Widow. Issue two, The Other. And then also issue number three, the hero. Nice black cover. Next up, we have the first 24 consecutive issues out of 32 of The Amazing Spider-Man Volume 4. Uh, issue one is a minor key containing the debut of Spider-Man MK4 armor. Issue number two, Really great story. This is a nice, nice cover with uh, Johnny from the Fantastic Four. And issue number four of volume four. Issue five. Issue number six. Continuing with issue number seven, issue eight, with a, a Superman lookalike here, issue nine, great cover, this one, issue ten, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, issue ten, issue eleven, also a cool cover. Issue 12. With the Avengers. 
to 13. Been miles and Iron Man to 14. Also with Iron Man. Issue 15. This is the first appearance of Iron Spider, Mary Jane. Issue 16. Issue 17. The first appearance of Francine Fry as Electro, the accomplice of the real Electro. 18. Before Dead No More. Issue 19. This is uh, starting the tie-in with the Clone Conspiracy. Issue 20. We're mid the Clone Conspiracy. So this is uh, part of the tie-in. Issue 22. We'll recover. And issue 23. Weirdly enough, not a key issue whatsoever. Uh, but maybe the Alex Ross cover, uh, because um, this uh, has a value of 30 euros on eBay. And then issue 24, part of the clone conspiracy. Then we have the complete volume 1 set of Superior Spider-Man, 33 issues in which Otto Octavius Doc Ock becomes Spider-Man. It's by, written by Dan Slott, and also containing a couple of minor key issues. So this is issue 2, then 3, then 4 contains the death of Ashley Kafka and the first appearance of Dr. Lon Lamas and the debut of the Spider-Bots. Issue 5 is the first appearance of Anna Maria Marconi and the death of Massacre. Issue 6 continues the story. Issue 7. The Captain America and Wolverine. Thor. Issue 8. And issue 9 contains the apparent death of Peter Parker's consciousness. Issue 10 is the first appearance of Goblin King, Norman Osborn. Issue 11, continuing the set, issue 12, it's open, issue 13 contains the death of Spider Slayer, no, not the YouTuber, <laughs> issue 14, issue 15, great cover. Issue 16 is the first appearance of Goblin Knight, uh, Phil Urich. And issue 17 has the first mention of Alchemax. Issue 18. Issue 19 has the debut of Alchemax. Issue 20 with Black Cat on the cover. Romantic. Issue 21. And issue 22, Darkest Hours, contains the debut of Parker Industries. And issue 23, Superior Spider-Man becomes Superior Venom. Issue 24, the first full appearance of Devil Spider. Issue 25, the first appearance of Monster, Harley Cooper. Issue 26. 27. Goblin Nation, 28. Part 2 of the Goblin Nation, 29. So... Great looking cover. Issue 30 of the Superior Spider-Man. Issue 31. Series Finale. Issue 32. Tie in with the, the Edge of the Spider-Verse. 
233, the first appearance of the Inheritors. And then we've got Ultimate Comic Spider-Man Premiere issue, the first solo of Miles Morales. And an issue of um, issue 4 of Silk's solo series, volume 5. So done with the Spideys from this collection and moving over to something else. And in this haul, this would be the complete volume 2 of Hulk. Issues 1 to 16 by Mark Wade and Mark Bagley. Fantastic run. With the Abomination. I'm super stoked with this collection. Really all consecutive uh, issues of, of multiple different um, characters and series. I'm so lucky. Gonna have some reading to do. And no duplicates whatsoever with my collection. Well, normally I, I collect omnibuses. Um, so not not real uh, single issues, but yeah, I started doing that. I've got a thousand of them now, and um, yeah, just being lucky that almost no duplicates with uh, with my existing collection. So all new issues adding to the PC. Hulk issue twelve. Yeah, with that bull. Guess this will also get booming, uh, maybe in value with the, the new Deadpool movie and Red Hulk. Issue 15 and uh, issue 16 of this volume with Meister on the cover. And one issue of Joe Fix It to finish his Hulk collection. Then we're moving in a to a couple of issues of the Mighty Tour, Volume 2. Got issue number one, which contains the first team appearance of the Dark Council. And issue two, the first team appearance of the War Witches. Issue three, just continuing the story. Issue 4, Issue 5, as Odin. Issue 6 contains the first appearance of Bodo of the Black. Issue 7, Issue 8. Now I've got a couple of missing issues, 9 to 12 is missing. But then we have issue number 13, containing the first appearance of Ro Bloodroot. A complete volume 4 of Thor, issues eight, uh, 1 to 8 by Jason Aaron. And the first one uh, has the first cameo appearance of Thor as Jane Foster. Second one, the first full appearance of Jane's, Jane Foster as Thor. Got issue 3 and then 4. Jason Aaron, such a great writer. Who is Tor? Issue 6. Issue 7. And issue 8, where Jane Foster is revealed as Tor. Next, he also had some Wolverines in his collection. The complete volume 5 of Wolverine issues 1 to 13 from 2013.
It also includes a six-part mini-series called Killable. After losing his healing factor, Logan must adjust to a very different reality and villains and mercenaries begin popping out of the woodwork to try to take him down. A cure may have been found, but it's in Wakanda, where he's not welcome anymore. Then the complete volume 6 of Wolverine, issues 1 to 12 from 2014. Issue 1 contained the debut of Wolverine's ablation armor. Issue 3, 4, motorcycle, 5. With his adamantium claws. Issue 6. And 7. Taking some arrows there, but yeah. God bless the healing factor. Issue 9. Leading up to uh, the death of Wolverine. Two months to die. One month to die. Building up the suspense. And then we've got the death of Wolverine, Deadpool and Captain America, issue number one. And the death of Wolverine life after Logan. To continue, we've got the full series of Age of Ultron, issues 1 to 10 by Brian Michael Bemis and Brian H. And issue 1 is a nice shiny bling bling foil cover. Look at this art. Stunning. Issue number 3. Age of Ultron, issue 4. Issue number 5. It's a great cover. Plenty of action. Red Hulk. Captain America, Wolverine, The Thing. Doctor Strange, Hulk. Wolverine. And issue 10, the first cameo appearance of Angela in the Marvel Universe. Iron. Then we've got an, a couple of Invincible Iron Mans of Volume 2. It does have a, a couple of valuable keys. Uh, the first one, the debut of Iron Man's Model Prime Armor. That's issue 2. Issue number 3. Issue 4, a cover appearance of Mary Jane Watson in the Invincible Iron Man series. Issue 5. Issue 6, War Machine. Now it's coming. Issue number 7 is a valuable one. First cameo appearance of Riri Williams. Issue 8. Going into Civil War 2. Issue number one, uh, 9. The first full appearance of Riri Williams. It's worth about 150 euros on eBay. And issue 10. The second appearance of Riri Williams as War Machine. Issue 11. I'm still missing the next issues 12 to 14. And then we move in into Superior Iron Man. Starting with issue 1 containing the first appearance of Teen Abomination. Superior Iron Man, it contains the origins of um, Superior Iron Man. Um, it would begin normally in the Axis event, 
in which the morality of Earth's heroes and villains was reversed by magic. While the spell was undone, the now corrupt Tony managed to shield himself and thus retained his evil personality even as most of Earth's heroes reverted back to their usu usual selves. Superior Iron Man would be opposed by several heroes, the most notable being Pepper Potts, Daredevil and for a short while the original Tony Stark's memory, which had lived on as an artifi artificial intelligence. The collector who I bought this um, collection from was a huge Deadpool fan, so apparently lucky for me, I didn't have any Deadpools in the collection yet. Starting with Tres Punto Uno, and then Deadpool Last Days of Magic Issue 1, Ron Lim variant cover, and a Gwenpool Holiday Special. And now we get into runs. Spider-Man Deadpool issues 1 to 14 consecutive. Still missing uh, uh, issues 15 to 50. But a great start for me to uh, start reading the Spider-Man Deadpool series. The premier issue alone is worth like 35 bucks. So I'm very happy with this purchase. I actually already started reading those um, and ah, oh, they are so much fun. The interaction between Spidey and Deadpool is just hilarious. On the one side, uh, Goody Two Shoes Peter and on the other side you've got Deadpool's full foul mouth and a perverted thinking. Ah oh, man, I laughed out loud in my couch. <laughs> Deadpool really wants to be Spidey's friend, almost up to a stalkery level. Really, really, really great series. And I do think they will uh, go up in value a bit with uh, Deadpool 3 coming out. It's actually not Deadpool 3, officially, it's Deadpool Wolverine, but still. Issue 11. Issue 12 of Spider-Man Deadpool. Almost a Christmas special. Issue 13. Great cover also. Spidey senses tingling. Issue 14. Then we have almost a complete volume 4 of Deadpool. It has some gaps. Uh, but I'll make sure to fill them uh, to have the volume complete. We're starting at issue 5. Because it's missing the first four issues. Issue number 7. First appearance of Vettis. Issue 8. Missing number 9. This is 10. And we've got 11. And 12. With Mephisto. Missing issue number 13. So we move to issue 14. 15. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Six part series. Oh, sorry, 17 already, 18, 18. and then issue 19 contains the first cameo appearance of Ellie Camacho, the daughter of Deadpool. Yeah, he has a daughter, him and Shikla. 20. 21 22 Is he in some kind of army? Oh, an alien homage cover Great cover I love it 24 Issue 25, 
And issue 27 actually contains the first appearance of Shikla, Deadpool's wife. The eight. And I, I'm missing 29 to 39, but apparently they will come a bit later in the video because they are part of original Sin and Axis storyline. So he didn't keep them in uh, order. Uh, I'll make sure in my collection that I put them in the right place. Issue 43, 44. And then we end with uh, issue 45, Death of Deadpool. Then we continue with volume 5, uh, the first 27 issues, and then apparently the collector dropped it, so it's missing uh, 28 to 36. Issue number 3 of the volume 5, issue 4. Issue 5. Issue number 6 contains the first appearance of Deadpool 2099. 25th anniversary of Deadpool. Issue 8. Still have to read those. New for me. Like mid in the Spider Man that series. Issue 11. Issue 12 has a cover appearance of Deadpool 2099. 13. Fourteen of Civil War Two. Fifteen. Sixteen. Was a major tie-in. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen first cover appearance of Deadpools. Twenty. Twenty-one. Hmm. Coming out of the stomach. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Nice little run. Bit of a shame that it's not complete, but seeing only eight issues to have the volume complete. So, be able to find those. 25. Uh, that bull is hit by a Cupid. <laughs> 27. Hugging Captain America. Um, let me jump in a complete story of Deadpool, Dracula's Gauntlet, a seven-issue series. When Dracula hires Deadpool to transport a highly valuable delivery for him, he has no idea what kind of trouble he's in for. It's guest-starring Blade and Modoc and Hydra Bob, Werewolf by Night, uh, much many more, uh, for a crazy journey across the world and into the heart of the Merc with a mouth. Nothing noteworthy uh, here, no keys or something like that, but the series is complete and I'm sure it will be a hell of a fun read. Then another complete series issues one to four, Deadpool's Art of War by Peter David. I love Peter David, uh, Hulk run, uh, so expectations are high for this one. Sun Tzu's Art of War has been called a definitive work on military strategy and tactics and has influenced leaders in both warfare and business for hundreds of years, which means it's totally in the public domain and ripe for being ripped off by Deadpool. 
Deadpool vs. Thanos, also complete series issues 1 to 4 from 2015 by Tim Seeley. Tim Seeley, also the author of Hack Slash, one of my favorites in the series. Issue 3 and issue number 4 to finish the series off. Then we've got Deadpool vs. Carnage, also a complete series, uh, issues 1 to 4 from 2014 by Colin Bunn. Issue 2, and I love Carnage. I love this cover. Really nice cover. And issue number 4. Then a complete run of Hawkeye vs. Deadpool, issues 0 to 4, including a first cameo appearance of Spider-Gwen and Jane Foster as Thor. It's uh, from 2014 by Jerry Dugan. Then we have Deadpool Kills Deadpool from 2013 by Cullen Bunn, also a complete series, issues 1 through 4, issue 2, and issue 3, and finishing with issue 4 of Deadpool Kills Deadpool. Then, I already mentioned before, in Volume 4 we were missing issues uh, 29 to 33, which were part of the original Sin storyline. So here they are, issue 30, issue 31, which contains the first, first full appearance of Ali Camacho, Deadpool's daughter, issue 32, And they shoot 33. And we also mentioned this before, the missing issues from following 4 that form the Axis tie-in events, issues 36 to 39. And here are issues 40, also from volume 4, issue 41, and finishing with issue 42. So that means that I do have the complete volume 4 of Deadpool. Uh, great. We move into Avengers with Avengers Now the Handbook. And then Avengers Volume 6 from 2015, Issue 0, which contains the first cameo appearance of the Ultimates and the debut of Excelsior, the Star Sword. Then we've got Uncanny Avengers Volume 3, Issues 1 to 20 from 2015, by Jerry Dugan and Ryan Stegman. It's missing uh, still issues 21 to 30 to make up the volume uh, 3 complete, but I do think it's a, a nice start uh, for, uh, for me to start reading this series and collecting this series. Issue number 6. I guess uh, it's because Deadpool is now part of the Avengers team that uh, the collector before me, uh, who owned this collection and sold me the collection, um, started collecting these also. A real Deadpool fanatic. Issue 10, 11. Issue 12. Thirteen of Uncanny Avengers, Volume Three. Issue fourteen, tie-in with Civil War Two, 
was all around the same period, so 2014, 2015. And even uh, 16, 17, Electra, 18, 19. Nice little run with the Red Skull, 20. Bit darker <laughs> on the cover, the creepy. Then we move into Infinity, a six-part run by Jonathan Hickman from 2013, and this set is complete. The first issue contained the first full appearance of the Black Order. This is issue three, and then issue four contains the first full appearance of Thane. Issue five, and issue six. So the set is complete. We also have Infinity the Hunt, issues 1 to 4, which also makes this little run complete. Issue 3. And issue 4. And we continue with Infinity Heist, also issues 1 to 4. To have this series complete. Then we've got Marvel's Eye of the Camera, a complete story, uh, issues one to six from two thousand nine by Kurt. Busiek. It follows the Marvel superhero action from the perspective of Phil Sheldon, a newspaper photo photographer uh, who witnessed some of the most uh, spectacular battles and events, from the Avengers and the X-Men to Secret Wars and Werewolf by Night. Really great story. Then we've got the full volume 7 of Captain America, issues 1 through 25 from 2013 by Rick Remender and John Romita Jr. The first issue of this uh, run uh, contains the first appearance of Jet Black, Jet Zola and Ian Zola. Issue number 5. This is a nice cover in issue 6. Great run, great series. Issue 10. The 11, also with cap on the cover. And we've got issue 12 containing the first appearance of the Iron Nail. 13, great cover also. Fifteen, sixteen. Seventeen, eighteen. This is uh, <laughs> making some publicity for the Winter Soldier, the movie. Twenty one. I'm lucky with this. Uh, Full run to have it. Can't wait to start reading this one. 24 and then 25 contains the first appearance of Captain America Sam Wilson. This one is worth like a hundred bucks on eBay. 
And then we start in the first issue of All New Captain America. And issue number two. Then we had a couple of random uh, issues. Uh, Spider-Man Who Am I? A free promotional edition of uh, 2014. Also Ultimate Spider-Man, the Halloween Comic Fest edition of 2013. A free comic book day of 2015 Avengers, including the first team appearance of the all new, all different Avengers. The thick free comic book day of 2015. An image first hack slash issue number one of 2014. And I'm a real hack slash fan. I've got the omnibuses. And to end up this uh, series or haul, uh, in my opinion, fantastic buy from uh, Facebook Marketplace. The complete run of Secret Wars 2015, nine issues and also including some keys. Uh, in the first issue we just saw, uh, we had the first cameo appearance of God Emperor Doom. And in issue two, we had the first full appearance of God Emperor Doom and the debut of Bar Sinister. And then in issue five here, for some reason, it has a bit more value. Uh, it sells about 20 euros on eBay. Um, it is an Alex Ross cover, but nothing special happens in it. Issue six, Black Panther, uh, that wields the Infinity Gauntlet. And then issue seven, apparently, they come to the they came to the conclusion they would not finish it in eight issues. So at issue seven, instead of saying of eight, it changed to of nine. And so there are actually nine issues uh, for this whole Secret Wars run. Concludes this mega deal. If you like this content, please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more. As always, thank you for joining and hope to see you for my next video releases.